tragic story. A three-year-old loses her life, and now cops are questioning her mom, stepdad, and even her grandmother. Nate Rogers has the full story. Nate, what do you got? Bill, right now, police are questioning family members of three-year-old Bella Edwards, trying to figure out exactly what happened to her, and if criminal, who's responsible. Now, take a look at these precious memories of vibrant young Bella from her mother's Facebook page. The mother, Shamika Gonzalez, posting earlier today, quote, Bella, I am so sorry I wasn't there to protect you. This feels like a bad dream I can't wake up from. We're going to remember her. We're going to get justice. Know that. We're going to get justice. This is not over. It's not going to end today. It's not going to end no time soon until we know what happened. Bella was found unconscious yesterday evening inside her family's Rockaway Park living room apartment. Police say when they arrived, Bella's stepfather was administering CPR. Both mom and grandmom were also present. Police say Bella went into cardiac arrest and was rushed to the hospital where she later died. Police also say, according to doctors, Bella had extensive bruising on her lower extremities from the waist down. Uh, it's unbelievable. It, I, I can't even fathom this. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't, oh my God. Tomorrow evening, Bella's mother will lead a vigil outside their apartment building in her honor. Gonzalez again on Facebook saying, quote, I'm going to miss all of the times you kissed and hugged me every day and miss hearing you say, hi, Logie. I'm your big sister. Now, Gonzalez's three-month-old son, Logan, was also evaluated by doctors following this tragedy. No arrests have been made. Police are still investigating this case. In Rockaway Park, I'm Nate Rogers for Chasing News.